In this digital age, harnessing the power of technology is essential for any successful business, including RV campgrounds. By integrating smart solutions into our operations, we're able to streamline our processes, enhance our customer experience, and ultimately set ourselves apart from the competition. As a multi-campground owner, I couldn't imagine trying to do what we do without the systems that we've been able to build through the use of technology. Stay tuned as I'm gonna share with you the exact tech stack that we use to operate over 10 campgrounds. And as much as I wish these were paying sponsors, I can assure you they're not, as our channel is not that big yet, hence why you should like, share, and subscribe if you appreciate this. So let's go ahead and dive in. Welcome to Requity Insights, a channel dedicated to documenting our journey to 100 world-class communities. Before we dive in, I want to share with you our general philosophy for technology. We tend to focus on using the simplest tools as they will be quickest to be widely adopted throughout the organization. So some might prefer more customization options, but for us, one of our key principles is valuing the simple over the complex, and we find that that's served us well when it comes to choosing our tech stack. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about your reservation management system. This is probably the most important choice of technology when it comes to effective operations in an RV campground when it comes to your software. So there are many great, what we call RMS softwares out there. And this industry has been evolving a lot, especially in recent years. Now, the one we've chosen to use is CampSpot. We like CampSpot because it is a good out-of-the-box solution. Now, gone are the day of the manual paperwork, which fortunately I have not had to live through, but I have serious admiration for those that were able to manage busy holiday weekends, collecting cash and using paper records to keep track of all of their incoming and outgoing guests. With a robust reservation management system, the potential campers can easily browse available dates, they can select the preferred sites, they can even make reservations straight through their online portal, right from the comfort of their homes without even having to pick up the phone and call in. This also saves, of course, the operators significant time as well. We find 50% of bookings are booked over the phone and then 50% are booked online, roughly speaking, across the board for us. For the operators, it also gives you the ability to manage all of your occupancy through what you call your grid. You can see your grid online, which will show you all of your different sites and the occupancy rates and the incoming guests any day of the week, any time of the year, in addition to being able to pull all different types of data reports that will help you see how your marketing is doing, see how your occupancy is doing year over year, month over month, whatever you know is relevant to you as you're planning for the future. Now this also allows you to know which site types are performing the best, and that'll, that really can be helpful when it comes to making strategic improvements to your campground and your ongoing pricing strategy. The next tool that's important to get right is your accounting software. Now most RMSs, reservation softwares, they're helping as your front end point of sale system, and they usually will even integrate with your campground stores to be able to track all of your reservations, all of your ancillary income, However, they usually do not do end-to-end -end accounting. Therefore, you're generally going to use a reservation management software and then in either integrate it or import your income numbers to your accounting software, where at that point, you'll be able to track all of your expenses and generate your full, complete financial reports from. Now, probably the most common software that we see campground owners using and probably the most common in small business in general is QuickBooks. And we use Appfolio because I've been using that for over six years now, and it's where what we started with, and we use it for our apartments, our mobile home communities, and our RV campgrounds, and we're big fans of the product, so it makes it easier to track all of our assets in one place and have all of our teams and our accounting streamlined using the same software. The next one is your project management software. Project management software will often be a tool that you can use to host a lot of your ongoing projects and keep track of all of your critical deadlines, project updates, and things along those lines. 
For instance, we use what we call a CapEx project board, where we have all of our internal capital improvement projects for every single property itemized and then listed who's responsible for them and what our target deadlines are. And this makes it much easier because we can come in and check the status or comment at any given time. So, and we can also upload pictures of quotes or updates and it just makes it way easier to be able to keep a pulse on everything day to day than having a bunch of scattered email chains, right? Just makes it easier to reference historical data points and things along those lines. So for project management software, there are quite a few out there now. We use monday.com and we are big fans of it, but we honestly don't have an overly strong preference of this over the other tools out there. You can accomplish a lot of similar things on tools such as Notion, Asana, ClickUp, and there's, I'm sure there's many more out there. I think the most important thing is that you have a good tool that you're using to be able to structure your internal project management. In addition to that, we recommend also having an internal communications tool. Our internal communications tool is Slack, and we use this for almost all of our internal communications. It provides a great way to be able to build culture more than anything. With all of our projects, properties being spread out in multiple different states, it gives us a tool that we can use to be able to share updates, and it can be anything from new policies that we're rolling out to capital improvement projects, photos of events, interactions one-on-one -on -one with various team members, and really just gives us a, a great way to be able to keep in touch without having endless meetings throughout the day or without a ton of different email chains cl cluttering up our email inbox. So I've grown to be a huge believer in having all of your internal communications running through your project management tool and your internal communications tool, and then really keeping your email for more of your external you know, customer facing communications. And I think that that separation allows teams to operate much more effectively. And I've been amazed to see you know, how much our company has thrived just with the simple addition of Slack. I think it's really in a, in a way been able to bring us all closer together and keep the day-to-day -day communications much more seamless. So we recommend that. Some companies also will use Teams, and I'm sure there are other tools out there, but Slack has been great for us so far. The next tool is Google Workspace. Google Workspace is a tool that is pretty all-encompassing that consists of various softwares that you can use from everything from your documents to your spreadsheets to being able to share files and folders amongst internal team members. In addition to, of course, most well known is Gmail, your email communication software. So I think Google versus, it seems like Google and Microsoft are the two big options out there and I'm sure there's others, but we're a big fan of having you know, a uniform workspace that allows you to be able to have an easy way to be able to share files, folders, and you know, we consider it to be a you know, cloud computing productivity and uh, collaboration tool. Moving on, we have your phone system. Phone systems are crucial for managing campground operations. We tend to recommend you having some kind of a VOIP system that can operate off of Wi-Fi and therefore allow your staff members to be able to utilize their cell phones to be able to take calls on the go and not necessarily be tied to a desk because we like to encourage our managers and our team to be able to get up and walk around the campground and be active you know, participants throughout the campground and we don't want that to limit them from being able to take their phone calls. We use Zoom phone system there are a bunch of other tools out there, Ring Central being a very popular one as well. But do your research and find a good phone system. For us, what was important is having a really intricate routing system so that if one person misses a call, we know who's up next in line and we can kind of coordinate based on who's working when and that kind of thing. And we found that to be a good system for us thus far. When you're running a campground, it's also very important that you're active on social media and you're able to put up posts that help market the campground, that help with promoting events and promoting just general discounts and campaigns and things along those lines. And we found Canva to be a huge help because it is extremely user-friendly. You can 
pretty much teach anyone as an out of the box solution to be able to go into Canva and be able to create what look like really professional, solid Facebook or social media posts that can help them promote themselves. So that's been huge for us. In addition to you can create flyers for your events or all kinds of other documents that you might want to be able to generate through there as well. And it's also nice because you can share stuff between one team member to another. Another tool is your HR and payroll software. So for us, we use Gusto for running all of our payroll and it's been a really helpful, easy to use tool that allows it, us to easily track you know, kind of our org chart of all of our different team members and track you know, working hours and track you know, how much everyone is making, making sure people are getting paid timely. And they also have a lot of other components to Gusto that give you guidance to make sure that you're staying compliant with you know, key HR guidelines. Then you have your websites. So again, there's a lot of different tools out there, so I won't get too much into how you should build your website. I think it's a personal decision, but most of our websites are on Webflow and we do have some that are on WordPress as well. So just think about you know, where you're going to be hosting your website from. And I'm sure if you YouTube that, there are plenty of videos that will help give you some guidance as to what's the best web solution for you and your business. All right, well, there you have it. That is what we can consider the current TRG tech stack. And we found these tools to be super valuable for us and allow us to run our business that's in multiple states, multiple locations, very seamlessly as a result of that. And we are constantly on the lookout for additional tools that we might be able to use for our business while also trying to minimize not taking on unnecessary tools or creating unnecessary complexity. So we definitely would love to hear what's been working out for you and your business. If you want to comment below, we'd love some ideas and to hear what's working well and be able to continue to grow upon that. So thanks for joining. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Requity Insights hosted by our team at the Requity Group. You can find recordings of all shows along with our opt-in form to set up a call and view future investment offerings on our company website, therequitygroup.com, also listed in the show notes.